hello children welcome back to your next english class and today i here uh, with the next section in section 3 the echoing green it is a poem from your lady english book and the poem is written by william blake you can see and echoing green first of all i want to know about the uh, title definitely you can understand by the title the echoing echo echo means if you know the repeated sound green green means here the nature okay and the poet talks about the joys of childhood okay the merry sounds uh, and uh, images which accompany the children playing outdoors definitely will get uh, in the stanzas and so the echo in green means suppose uh, you are telling something is in the nature lots of time you can see the repeated sounds are coming right so <clears throat> this poem is written by william blake and uh, it is published in songs of innocence in 1789 and william blake uh, he was an english poet painter and print maker also and largely unrecognized during his lifetime blake is now considered a seminal figure in the history of the poetry and visual arts of the romantic age okay so see here it is written something william blake talks about the joys of childhood especially in the company of nature okay he talks about the childhood uh, happiness the childhood uh, merry of childhood the joy the joys of childhood especially with the accompany of uh, nature okay he captures sounds and images typically of spring especially nature means what should be the uh, natural beauty of spring time okay he captures all the sounds all the images typical of spring okay here we will get three stanzas and you can see three stanzas are telling about of course the nature and um, the joyness of uh, the child and if you go deep you will uh, see the theme of the life and death in the poem the three stanzas okay and definitely you will get um, first you will get the poem talks about merry sounds and images which accompany the children playing outdoors okay you can get it in the first stanza next you will get about an uh, old man he was uh, very happy to see the children playing in the ground and um, on that moment she was remembering about his own childhood uh, when he enjoyed playing with his own friends okay and uh, at the last you will get uh, some more images or some you can see the images here right and uh, you will get some more information about the natures about the singing birds about the sunsets okay so we may start a poem see the sun does rise and make happy the skies you know each and every day sun just rises and uh, make us happy all the human beings all the creatures of the earth and especially skies okay sun gives the uh, light to the sky and to the earth that means you can understand that how much uh, happy should be there happiness should be there for the skies right the merry bells ring to welcome the spring then it is uh, telling about the spring time the merry bells ring to welcome the spring and the sky lark and thrush the birds of the bush sky lark and thrush both are the birds singing birds you can see here it is written here a small bird that sky lark thrush a small bird that sings while flying high in the sky and a small song bird with a brown back and spots on the chest okay 
सो इट इज़ अ इमेज अबाउट द स्प्रिंग टाइम अगर हैपन सन अराइज एंड स्काईज अ फीलिंग हैप्पी बेल्स आर रिंगिंग हैप्पीली एंड दे आर वेलकमिंग स्प्रिंग टाइम एंड द सिंगिंग बर्ड्स इन स्काईल थ्रूश दे आर सिंगिंग विद अ हाई वॉइस द बर्ड्स ऑफ द बुश दे आर स्टेंग इन द बुशेस राइट सिंग लाउडर अराउंड and they are singing louder to the bells cheerful sound while our sport shall be seen on the equine green equine green here it is a park okay and uh, to the bells cheerful sound these are giving so much happiness to the children while our sport shall be seen while they were playing on that equine green Park, okay, so they are feeling very much cheerful, happiness to listen those sounds. Okay, so this is the image of springtime, right? This is the children. They are playing. So from this stanza, you are getting the um, knowledge about the springtime, the image about the springtime, right? You are getting image and sounds. Okay. So I'm going to the next answer. Old John. John is a person, old man, with white hair. Now he, this this lines are telling about this old person's appearance. Old John with white hair. Does love have a care? Does love have a care? It is written here. Bush means an area with wild plants and trees along. Does love have a care? Forgets about his worries and enjoys himself. as he is now old of he is a old person so but she forgets each and every worries about uh, his life and he is enjoying okay sitting under the oak oak is a tree you know sitting under the oak tree among the old folk there are so many old persons like him so they are sitting they are under the oak tree and they love at our play all the old person they are laughing while they are watching the playing of the children why because they are uh, remembering their own childhood time as soon they all say such such were the joys when we all girls and boys means when we are the children we are the small girls small boys we did this kind of joyness and we made uh, this kind of uh, happiness we also played in our during our childhood time so now they are remembering they are recalling their own childhood life in our youth time were seen on the equine green they are remembering about their young age their childhood age right so i hope you can understand what this stanza says us okay go to the next stanza till the little ones weary weary means you know become tired till the little ones weary little ones weary means till the children are getting tired they are playing no more can be merry so there are nothing else only happiness the sun does descend but when the sun descends sets up right when the sun set just goes down sets up on that moment there will be no merry no happiness okay and our sports have an end and on that moment we have to end our sports we have to end our game round the laps of their mothers right you know all the children uh, in the childhood life uh, they are if they are playing they they will feel tiredness and after uh, that they will go to the lap of their mothers right so if we see from the first stanza you can understand a life begins means from the childhood then an old life is telling about a old old age then it is telling about the lapse of the their mother if we are 
compare comparing this with the nature with uh, mother that means you can understand at the end of our life means the death means the death that is also the end of our life and that is also the time when we should go to the lap of our nature mother right okay next some lines a few lines are there many sisters and brothers like birds in their nest okay many sisters and brothers but like birds in their nest birds they should uh, go back to their nest their own home right are ready for rest now it is a resting time right and sports no more seen on the darkening green okay so now the nature is green if uh, if you compare green means the nature so you can understand the darkening green means it is a night time so that is why i am telling if you go deep uh, into the poem into the stanzas you can see the theme of the life there should be the theme of the life and death okay that is why i told and uh, you can see 1 each and every stanzas you will get 10 lines okay so this is the poem about the nature and the uh, children they are playing and the spring time the spring time is uh, just uh, told about um, told here and uh, the poet talks about not only spring time he not only gives us a um, image of uh, spring time but also he told about Similarly, he to, he tried to tell about the life also. You can see. Okay, so this is your poem, and these are the meaning. If you have any problem, any doubt anywhere, you can ask me in comment box or you can ask me in Zoom class. Okay, so thank you so much, and uh, welcome back, and wait for the next video. Till then, bye bye.